So if you haven't seen it yet, here's another tool to consider adding to your BI toolkit. I'm talking about the data mining add-in for Excel. This is the download screen where you can find the add-in for Excel 2010 or 2013. Notice that this is based on the Microsoft SQL Server 2012 platform and uses Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services as the back end for the data processing while Excel provides the front end. So in order to use the data mining add-in for Excel, you have to have analysis services set up. When you first when you first run Excel after installing the add-in, it will walk you through a wizard that will help you configure your analysis services to use the data mining add-in. And it will create by default a database called DM Add-ins DB. Once you've installed the add-in and you've configured your analysis, so the steps that you've taken up until this point have been you've installed the add-in and then you've run the wizard, which will help you configure your analysis services to be able to use the add-in. And now you've opened up the sample file and you can connect to your analysis services. So you'll notice that I'm on the data mining tab and I'll just click on no connection and create a new connection to my analysis services database, which is just so happens to be on my local machine so I can connect to it using the local name dot. In my local server, I'll see that the data mining add-ins database has been added. I can give it a friendly name if I wish, test the connection, and say OK. And now Excel is connected to the analysis services backend. In this simple example, I want to show you how to use the forecast. So they've provided some sample data where you have four columns of data, one column containing the time series of year and month starting in July of 2001. And for July of 2001, we can see the sales amount across our three territories and so on and so forth for every month of every year. So we have some historical data and from this historical data, we're going to create a forecast. So all I've got to do is click on forecast Excel notices the table that's already been created that's in the sample file and it identifies it as the data source. It also finds the year month field and identifies that with the timestamp for the forecast to use as a time series to forecast along. And here's the opportunity for you to give it some descriptive information, browse through the model if you want, allow drill through into the data. It uses the data that's here to train the model. and then it opens up the browser. It starts out by default not showing absolute values but showing percentages. So let's turn on absolute values and these are based on absolute sales values. So we can sort of take a quick look here and you can get the data for your historical time values simply by clicking on the chart get a comparison of where my three different territories are in history. And then over here in this shaded area, you can see the lines become dotted, and that's where Excel and Analysis Services forecast sales for a series of time that you choose right here with prediction steps. So you can change the amount of time that's predicted by merely ticking that number up. You can also click on Show Deviations to get the range of confidence from Excel. So this is a simple introduction to a fairly powerful tool using the back end of SQL Server Analysis Services but through a friendly interface with Excel. Enjoy your data mining. Please remember to subscribe.